Ever wondered what is the origin of water on our planet? How did Earth become a blue planet? Where did so much water arrive from? Though recent research says that hydrogen deposits inside Earth might have played a major role in the formation of the oceans, that might not be entirely true, especially when we have got icy invaders visiting our planet every now and then. If we are to consider the sufficient evidence around a long-thought possibility, water was delivered to our planet by icy extraplanetary objects in the solar system like asteroids. To get to the bottom of the truth, NASA launched an ambitious asteroid sampling mission, OSIRIS-REx. And guess what? The interstellar delivery has been made. OSIRIS-REx has returned with the asteroid samples, making the asteroid Bennu the VIP of today's video. So what is so special about Bennu? Stay glued till the end of the video to find out. Welcome to the Space Tech Gazette. Today we are going to explore the journey of NASA's successful asteroid sampling mission OSIRIS-REx and the story behind an extraordinary asteroid that might reveal how life began on Earth. So let's first understand where its name comes from. OSIRIS-REx stands for the origins, spectral interpretation, resource identification, and security, regolith, explorer. This mission was launched on September 8, 2016. The goal of the mission was unique. It was not just to make a mere meet and greet with the asteroid Bennu, but to collect samples that are worth calling treasure and return to Earth. After enjoying the cosmic sightseeing for two years, the spacecraft arrived at asteroid Bennu on December 3, 2018. By 30, 1st of December 2018, our spacecraft gracefully slid into the orbit of Bennu and was revolving around the rock that would make any geologist's heart skip a beat. Why so? Because asteroid Bennu is adorned with rich carbon deposits. It was October 20th, 2020, when the Osiris spacecraft made a dramatic touchdown on Bennu. And here comes the best part. During its brief stay, it retrieved a sample from the surface of the asteroid. But wait, what is so fascinating about the asteroid Bennu? And why is the sample from this asteroid so important? Well, the asteroid Bennu is not just another space rock. It is part of an elite group of celestial objects that regularly swing by Earth. Let's elaborate on that. Bennu is one of the several thousand near-Earth extraplanetary objects that orbit Earth within a radius of 120 million miles, or 190 million kilometers. And among these, Bennu is one of the 200 celestial objects whose orbit is quite similar to that of Earth and is well understood by our scientists. Every six years, this asteroid passes relatively close to Earth during its 436-day orbit around the Sun. The reason why NASA chose Bennu is that it is a relatively large rock of 1650 feet. Rocks that are smaller in size, that is less than 650 feet, spin way too quickly, making it risky for a spacecraft to land on their surface. So there are only a handful of asteroids that move in well-known orbits and are large enough for a spacecraft to land on them. Therefore, Bennu seemed to be the one who would welcome Osiris with open arms it doesn't just end here. Bennu is a cosmic treasure trove. It has a composition that is of great interest to researchers. That is because, along with the abundant carbon deposits, this rock might lead scientists to those icy rocks that made life possible on our planet. The special asteroids that arrived from outer space and plunged into Earth. The ones that brought water and organic material to our land. The ones responsible for our existence today. Though Bennu is quite similar to those icy wonders that hold the secrets to life on Earth, this asteroid holds a devil side to its personality as well. Let's find out why. Because of its near orbit, Bennu is also a potentially dangerous rock for Earth, though NASA currently believes the risk is negligible. Though our planet won't be destroyed if the asteroid collides with Earth, the impact will create tremendous chaos wherever it hits. According to experts, an asteroid this massive wouldn't cause mass extinctions, but it would probably destroy the immediate area around the crash. Nevertheless, OSIRIS-REx's early warning system could help scientists take precautions well in advance of an impact. Well, 
Now we know why exploring Bennu is so important. This rock carries secrets that might change the course of our planet's future in the solar system. And if you are wondering what is the role of these samples, you must know they are way beyond just souvenirs from interstellar couriers. An initial study reveals that the asteroid sample contains abundant carbon and water. These samples from Bennu will not just give researchers an insight into the early solar system and evidence surrounding how life began, but they will also help scientists decode the nature of asteroids that have the capacity to impact Earth in the future. It was finally on May 10, 2021, when the OSIRIS spacecraft started its journey back to Earth to get the samples home. It seems like space vehicles are far more luckier than humans can ever be. Wandering in space, landing on asteroids, collecting samples that are more like treasures, touring the vast empty space, and visiting those parts of the universe that we would never have access to. Wow, that's a dream for every astronomy enthusiast, isn't it? After traveling for more than two years, the spacecraft returned to Earth on September 24, 2023, with the precious samples of asteroid Bennu. The spacecraft didn't land on Earth. However, it made sure to safely drop off the samples in a sample return capsule. But why? What was the need for our asteroid visitor to drop off the samples from space? What was wrong with landing on the surface? Well, like we earlier said, it wasn't just an asteroid sampling mission, but an ambitious asteroid sampling mission. OSIRIS-REx wasn't done with just one adventure. It set off to a new target to continue the mission and swing by another near-Earth asteroid Apophis in 2029. The asteroid Apophis is going to come close to Earth in the year 2029, and NASA wants to leave no stone unturned in making the most of this opportunity. The extended mission, now known as OSIRIS-REx Apex, promises more interstellar adventures. Our daring OSIRIS spacecraft is currently en route to Apophis, exploring the wonders of space like none other. That concludes our cosmic journey with OSIRIS-REx and Bennu right here on the Space Tech Gazette. If this journey ignited your curiosity, remember to like and share this video, and let us know in the comments down below what you think of this mission. Your support fuels our mission to bring you the latest news in space technology. If you want to know more about some of the most amazing space technologies out there, you can watch one of these videos next. And as always, keep gazing at the stars, for the cosmos is a boundless source of wonder. Until our next cosmic rendezvous, stay tuned and keep exploring with the Space Tech Gazette.